the concept of artificial intelligence as opposed to artificial general intelligence is a, is a gradual thing. The general intelligence is able to solve a multitude of problems in multitude of domains and becoming more like a human, being more complex, reasoning, understanding, pretending emotion, pretending to have a body. The general intelligence is defined as the moment where you would have a machine that can solve the majority of human-like tasks better and cheaper or for free than a human. When you look at this definition, it's quite clear that it'll be a gradual thing. And that's, of course, the nature of AI. All of the agents and AIs can talk to each other and learn from each other. When you have one AI gaining more understanding, all of the others have it, unlike humans. You know, humans have to teach each other. It takes a long time. Some people call the intelligence of explosion. This idea of saying that you have an AI that makes an AI so you can get the job done. That AI makes another AI and you have this recursive explosion. Then it becomes possible to have compound intelligence, essentially limitless intelligence. That intelligence, of course, is logical. It's not emotional or social. We could have AI that pretends to have emotional, social, kinesthetic intelligence, and we would think of it differently. So the delivery of ChatGPT is with a nice female voice. We think that this is more than a bunch of wires because of what it does. And now we have humanoid robots. So we think of them as being kind of like a human to that point to where you already have people asking to have civil rights for those machines. And we're anthropomorphizing, we're making it human. The scary part is that right now the AI is considered a competitive advantage for companies, but also, of course, for governments and militaries. So it's no longer the sheer might of the military. Now it's about building something more intelligent than everything else, because more intelligent means you can dominate in business and in military and otherwise. And this is where we're at right now. There's an arms race. And because it's essentially between China and the U.S., maybe Russia to some degree, it is really about dominance there, just like it was in Germany versus U.S. with the nuclear bomb. And that creates systems where people leave aside all the safety and security because they want to leap. When you listen to Sam Altman from OpenAI, when he talks about the next thing in AI is really to touch the most human capacity capabilities that we have. Creative thinking, problem solving, reasoning, understanding creating. That's his goal. I always say you can't really be a creator if you don't have emotions. And so what these machines do is they pretend emotions so they can pretend to create. They may get so good at it that we don't know the difference. For many people, the internet, if they can't connect, then they feel lost. So AI will become like, if my AI is not there to do that for me, I am incapable of proceeding. And that's like a thousand times as bad as missing your internet connection when you're on a mobile phone.